for more now on what may happen to those held at Guantanamo, we are joined from Washington by Sarah Mendelson. She is a specialist on security and human rights issues with the Center for Strategic and International Studies. Thanks very much for being with us. Thank you. As we heard now, President Obama has signed this executive order to close down Guantanamo, the detention camp, within a year. Sounds simple, and yet, what is the first step that has to be done? Well, first we should say this is a great first step towards closing Guantanamo, and it's tremendous that President Obama has done this in his second full day in office. The first thing that's going to happen is there's going to be a convening of a review panel, uh, I believe chaired by the Attorney General and the Secretary of Defense. And what they're going to do is they're going to review all the files of those detained in Guantanamo, some 245 men. And they're going to make decisions about whether or not they can be transferred and released, and there's diplomacy involved in that, or whether they're going to be prosecuted. We hope that's the main thing that this review panel does. So will they be transferred to other countries, or will others be transferred here to the United States, and how do we know which goes where? Well, that's what the review panel is going to have to determine. They first will need to figure out who do they want to prosecute, and they may need to gather some new information, new evidence, not tainted by uh, harsh interrogation techniques or torture. Uh, and in the other case, for those that can be either transferred or released to another country, uh, there's going to be a lot of diplomacy. And the, the draft executive order that I saw, I haven't seen the final, the draft executive order had an explicit uh, mandate for diplomatic efforts. And, and if they come to the United States, if some are transferred here, mm -hmm. in what kind of courts will they be tried, uh, presuming there is some sort of trial? Well, for some that will be prosecuted, uh, the, the executive order it looks like it has a menu of options. Uh, the first option I think that they're going to look at is prosecution through the U.S. criminal justice system, and we very much hope that that's the, the route that they go through. As opposed it's, to a military trial? Well, there, for, there could be some cases that, because of the nature of the case, could go through courts martial, so that, they would, that a lot of the, the evidentiary rules are the same as criminal justice system but it would be under courts martial. What we're more concerned about is, frankly, a new system or a tinkering with the existing military commissions, which we think has been pretty much of a failure. Well, we've only got about 15 seconds left. I want to ask you, we saw this report about Polacharki prison in Afghanistan. How are facilities like that affected by the order signed today? Well, the, there's another order that's been signed that is going to be looking at detention policy going forward. It's in that that there's possibly some room to consider Polacharki, but there's a lot of issues about a lot of other detention facilities. Everyone's focused on Guantanamo. We need to get this solved, but there's more work to be done, and we're going to have to stay on it. Sarah Mendelson, thank you very much. Thank you.